to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. It's hard for me to be happy when I know that someone is going, especially a black man, woman, is going to jail for the rest of their life. That's hard for me. Okay. But this is what's supposed to happen to R. Kelly. Yeah, but I also... So I can separate, for me, I can separate that. Right? Mm -hmm. There's not a piece of me that is like, I don't want R. Kelly to go to jail. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing laps. You know what I'm saying? I'm not celebrating R. Kelly going to jail. I mean, I, I may see, crack a joke I or two. See, I see where you're at, and I understand. But I also see people like also the whole, you know, they're taking down R. Kelly, but not Jeffrey Epstein or not, you know, whatever. Well, Epstein's Donald done Trump, too. I mean, whatever. Well, Epstein's dead as a door. That's why I said right. he's done. Or and like Harlan Weinstein is completely done. done. But my whole thing is like, okay, yes, they should be held accountable also. But we're talking about this specific case right now for men yes. who ruined the lives yes. of so many young women and men. And look, and now is are some of these people maybe confusing the R. Kelly being a troubled person who was also molested and abused himself? And so are you telling me that these people don't even think he's guilty at all? Some don't. Like I told you, outside of Brooklyn, outside the courtroom, there's videos of people blasting his music mm. with signs that said, Free R. Kelly, he's not guilty. The parents should be in jail. Now, listen, I understand wow. the feeling of being sad on a very basic level. Like on a human, kind of like it's terrible. Because well, the whole two. thing is sad. No, the whole yeah, thing's the whole sad, thing number sad. one, that part. And then also the part of letting go of his music. Like, I admit I am a fan who held on to for way too long because I love a lot of R. Kelly's music. Now, I always loved it ironically to some degree and thought, like, some of it was weird and I was like, what's wrong with this dude to some extent? But then you have songs like this, right? Like, a lot of just party records that we associate with good moments that you're like, what do I do with this music now? See, I can't listen to 12 Play at all. Well, no, that's... Well, that's... No. I can't listen to it. Because he's talking about seems like you're ready, right? And your body's calling. Yes. Yep. That's all. It's weird. How about how about disgusting. the Aaliyah album title? AJ, nothing but a number. Crazy. Who Cra I can't listen to that. I can't just act like that wasn't. Guys, part of part of the in court, they talked about him bribing a state official, right? Mm -hmm. To falsify papers so he could marry Aaliyah when she was. Underage, she was 15 because so, yeah, that, she was pregnant at that time. Yeah, that came out in this. That's a part of this case. So that was proven fact that he bribed someone to allow him to marry a girl who was underage. Okay, and if she was 15 at that time, that means he was messing with her before. We're talking 14, yep. 13. Now, the other thing, and I've and I've talked about this for a while. It was known in Chicago that R. Kelly would drive around the McDonald's when kids would get out of school. Yeah, yeah. by the high school. Yes. I know friend, I know a friend of mine who's a performer who said she did a show with him, and they swept, they wanted nothing but women and asked women to come forward. Specific, any man that was on stage had to be removed unless it was part of his team. And it was just kind of plucking him out, plucking him out. That yeah. girl, that girl, that girl, that girl. It's pretty, it's pretty horrible. And, and there are layers to it, yes, yes. All the people that looked the other way, there was a team of people who enabled him to do all of this. That's Absolutely. Right. And, and we Guys, feel like those tapes. people should be guilty, too. There Here's are a, disgusting me, tapes. Now, here, let's, this is, let's talk about one element that's not as important with regard to this, but musically is important. First and foremost, we are a music program. I'm going to ask you about a couple songs. Are you completely throwing it away? Okay. Are you completely... Are you completely throwing away F and You Tonight by Biggie? Nah. I don't think, I don't know if I can never again. I think I listen to it because it's Biggie, but then I'll be like, eh, you know. But I mean, are you I fast forwarding? Long time. If you're listening to the album, though, you're playing Life After Death, are you skipping past that and being like, oh, hell no? I'm not. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm not. not. Yeah. There's plenty of other R. Re Kelly records I am, though. Like, I never liked um, You Remind Me of My G. You, you, from Ebro, back in, from way, way back then, I hated that record. By the way, Ebro goes back to 92 every time. It's where you <laughs> right. are. I mean, it was formidable years for me. I know. What about... What about <laughs> and it doesn't count if you never liked it. Yeah, that's easy. What about... And I know you don't like the song either, because any song that's cheesy and popular among white people, Ebro doesn't like, understandably. What about Ignition <laughs> Remix? 
No, Ignition good. Remix was fire, but I, I don't need it. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm good. I, I don't listen. How about this? Okay. Ignition Remix was one of those songs that on the radio, in the context, I never listened to that in my private time. No. It was good in the club, though. I'll tell you, as a DJ, when you're winding down a club night, it's a fun, it's always a fun record. It never fails. There's no crowd of people that yeah, didn't not, like to hear this. I'm not listening to this on my private time. I'm good. What about Step in the I'm Name good. of Love? That's fire. That joint, come on, I, I might listen to that. I'm but good. I always feel like, ugh. Yeah, I'm good. Ugh. I'm just not, a, guys, in this in this situation, you can call me a hypocrite because how I feel about Michael no. Jackson, whatever. I just, I'm Don't not See, the difference between R. Kelly and Mike yeah. for me is there's Mike that you know Mike was innocent Mike. There was young Mike. There's off the wall Mike. There, right. Then, then you get point. into a point where Mike became this person that he wasn't when he was 12. Great point. He wasn't when he was nine. He wasn't when he was 18. To R. Our, R. You know Kelly, I mean? for as long as we knew that he existed, appeared to be this, this person. person. Yeah, but there's a documented R. Kelly video, though. That's and, there's that videos. That videos. Multiple. Multiple. There's videos. There's videos. You can't get past that, bro. No, you can't. It's, you can't. Guys, it's child pornography. Yes. Right. You can't get past Please. That. Like, people just be like, eh, like it's nothing. But, Laura, I have to tell you, the, the people that you're worried about who are actually fixing their feet to walk outside to then fix their lips to say free R. Kelly. Laura, you have to understand, these people are not bright. There's something dim. But they're not it's well not, either. Or they're not well. They're not that's, well. that's not, they're don't fanatic. think that that's that, that big a crowd. Um, I don't think R. Kelly in a real way has any support left. Although I did read an article recently, his music still streams. I think he's still getting around 10 million streams a month. But he's on a million records. He's written... Yo, guys, he wrote I Believe I Can Fly. I don't think that song, people may not listen to his version the same way, but that song Deborah is Cox. part of the American like canon of music. It's not going away. I Believe I Can Fly is a graduation song now. It's not. Yo, I never liked that record either. Of course you didn't. <laughs> I never liked I Believe I Can Fly. Come on. It was man. a good song, Plus. but once again, I'm not listening to these records. In my personal. No, no one listens to I Believe I Can Fly when they're at home. I bet you there are people who listen to that when they're at that home. beginning, when it hits that, I used to, the first note of this, it's, it's like, it's like classical. I'm not playing yeah. our, oh, God. It's, it's. Turn this off. Man. All right, guys. Please. See, don't don't give anyone a good feel. Please See, I, I understand. Off. No, turn this off. Because you hate R. Kelly or because you don't like the song. And because he's going to jail today for, for. You know, sexual tra sex trafficking and crimes. Yep. So I don't want to just play his. No, music. we can't. We're gonna have a celebration mix, Shawnee. Not right now. I we can't. Shawnee's trying to troll me. us with everything. No, 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 what the hell is wrong with you? I'm being thematic. That's it. He's being thematic. He's trying to give context. Yeah, so, I guess. So, I just, ugh, you know what bothers me too? Because these are these are all young black little girls. Yeah. And if they were white little girls, it would have been a big scandal. But then I think about the U.S. gymnastics team, which is a mix of girls, and no one gave a damn about them either. It's just they're, they're young girls that are being sexually assaulted and traumatized for the rest of their lives. And people are just kind of like, yeah, buddy. Now, do you, now, Laura, we yeah. live in a country, and I think a world, too, because when you look around the world, sex trafficking is very big in Thailand and Japan. and Everywhere. 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 Africa. There's places in Europe. Sex trafficking is huge, and it's these are no. There's known places on planet Earth where these scumbags can go and commit these crimes, right? Right, and and it's known. Yeah. Do you feel like that culture, which I believe permeated America also to the highest heights, whether it's public officials and presidents and CEOs and all of this stuff that we see, where these older men love young girls? Do you believe that we've come to an awakening in our society yet? No. Not at all. Not yet. There's certain states who have, like, insane... I think it was one of the Carolinas, maybe, that they just recently, like, oh, they raised the age to, like, 14. Like, something ridiculous. Like, if you really Google what goes on in America state by state, you'll be surprised of some of the insane laws. They just busted hundreds of men in Ohio, like, some months ago. For a whole sex trafficking ring here in America. I think and I don't want to take divert this away from R. Kelly. I just want to talk about the greater culture right. of him. It's of not this. just R. Kelly. Yeah, this isn't like some... I guess I guess really what I'm trying to point out is this isn't some uh, extraordinary incident. No. What R. Kelly did. 
You mean it's it actually happen. very common. I think it's hard for us to process as a society that this could be a regular occurrence, that there are grown men who are trying to get their hands on little girls. I think it's it's and it's problematic that we can't accept it because Listen, we don't there's accept people it, listening to us it. right now who are pissed at R. Kelly that have family members, fathers, brothers that have participated in this behavior. It's known in their family. And I'm not saying that that individual molested a family member. I'm saying they knew that this person was going out pimping, uh, uh, sex trafficking, yes. young girls, taking advantage of young girls, going over here to Port Authority, right here in Manhattan, hanging out with little runaways, getting off the bus. He's right here in Manhattan. Well, check mm. this out. Child marriage is currently legal in 44 states. Only Delaware, Minnesota, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island has set the minimum age at 18 and eliminated all exceptions. Wow. So in 44 states, there are exceptions to the rules no. where a child could get married. Yeah. Yeah, in 44 states, you can there's marry a, a child. An there's still. an exception. It's disgusting. Yeah, I think, I think the problem when people don't accept that this is a real thing, it, it prevents us from fighting it the way we can. You know what I'm saying? That denial actually allows it to thrive to some extent because we need to accept this happens so you can fight it because you're right. People know people who have done that. And they're like, yeah, he was a pimp. Yeah, yeah. he was pimping. Uh-huh. Okay, let's keep going with pimping. What do you mean? Because it's not like they're all, uh, like all the women working with the guy were 45 years old. And it's exactly. layers, right? The, the the family members that molested someone and, and families who refuse to acknowledge it because, God forbid, everybody looks at their family like the broken family or, or I, the woman who finally got a man and d- doesn't want to admit that the man is a predator or 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 maybe the husband. who Because there's women that are predators too, females that are predators too. It's just so many layers, but it's constantly dismissed. People just kind of look the other way. My father hustled women. And as an eight, nine-year-old, when he would have like four or five women staying in his house... They looked of age to me. But you were like But eight. how old were you? I'm eight or nine. They could have been but no idea. I would have to assume that that lifestyle leads grown men into taking advantage of young girls to make money. And girls who, who feel like their only path is to make money selling their bodies. Mm-hmm. And so they trust their body to another to a man to air quote, I'm using air quotes, protect them. Mm-hmm. So I'd have to assume that my father was in that. And messing with young girls. Have to assume. And, then, and, I'm, and I'm telling y'all, it's when you talk about Caribbean culture and you listen to like old dance hall records and they talking about we, me love me virgin girl. Ugh. What are they really me talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What are they really talking about? They're talking about young thing. girls. It's, it was in the music. Well, because it's in every part of culture, in every part of the world. This exists everywhere, you know? But, hey, yesterday was one victory for, for you know, justice. And, I, and and the reason I asked Laura, does she feel like there's an awakening is because you have the R. Kelly thing while it took 25 years to get here. You also have the Harvey Weinstein, mm-hmm. right? You have what's going on with Jizz Lane. What's her Jizz Lane? Am I saying it right? McLean? Mc, Mc, McRae? Mc, what is her Maxwell? name? Maxwell? Maxwell. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is the Jeffrey Epstein. She's the woman. Right. She's the woman who was bringing in the young girls. Right, and that's why I said there's a lot of women, too, that are involved that help and that are part of it. Oh, they choose to look the other way. So, listen, um, protect your young girls uh, and... and uh, Salute to everyone, uh, the documentary filmmakers, the young girls who are now adults that had to relive this right. and and to, to get a man like R. Kelly put behind bars because people had to relive their trauma. Yeah, there was a young man who relived his trauma when he was 17 abused by him who testified in court. So it was boys and girls. Mm.